Good morning. Uh, this is Teacher Jacob, and this video is for eighth grade. Today, uh, we are going to have video class. It is about the pronunciation class. So, we all you are going to do uh, two activities. Activity number one is listen and then repeat. I mean, listen and try to pronounce, say, the phrases. You try to speak. And activity two, it's uh, listen, and then you copy the phrases on your notebook. Okay? Not is that. It's, it's not complicated. I need is you listen and copy on your notebook and listen and uh, speak. Uh, I mean, listen and repeat the phrases. Okay, so today uh, we are going to uh, study with uh, uh, Phil. So let's go with um, this Phil. Let me see, and uh, let's start. Yes. So this is the idea. Okay, the idea is that you uh, you listen. And then repeat, you know, repeat, repeat uh, this phrase, okay? That's what I need you to do it. So very slow, and then you can repeat in your house and so on. Let's start, okay? Let's go. You will always remember this as the day that you almost caught, okay? Quickly. You will always remember this as the day that you almost caught. Good? Very simple. Listen and repeat. Now will you shoot him? Repeat. Now will you shoot him? And repeat quickly. Now will you shoot him? Open fire. Oh yeah, are you ready to learn English with one of the best adventure movies all the time so i need is you listen and then repeat okay oh yeah are you ready to learn english with one of the best adventures movie of all time in today's lesson will will not is this will follow jack sparrow and will toner while try to steal a chip from the British Royal Navy. This will be a great opportunity for you to learn some specific nautical vocabulary in English. Okay, so now quickly. This will be a great opportunity for you to learn some specific nautical vocabulary in English. That is words about navigation and sailing. As you probably, or probably, as you probably, or probably already know this is one of the great things about learning English. So you read quickly. As you probably already know, this is one of the great things about learning English. With different movies and series. 
they give you all sorts of real life situations that can be useful in gaining English fluency. So then you repeat normal. They give you all sorts of real life situations that can be useful in gaining English fluency. So, are you ready? Let's dive in. Let's dive in. Watch with subtitle scene A. Is either madness or brilliance. Listen, this is either or either madness or brilliance. It's remarkable, remarkable how often those two traits coincident. Conside, I'm sorry, conside, sorry. Everyone stay calm. We're taking over this ship. So you listen and practice. Every, everyone stay calm. We're taking over this ship. I have asked. This ship cannot be crewed by two men. This ship cannot be crewed by two men. You'll never make it out of the bay. All right, so you will never make it out of the bay. Son, I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Savvy? So they're repeating a game, this. So here is the same, the same, the same, uh, the same situation. So let's go a little bit, a little bit, move a little. And where is it? And okay, let's 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 see the. Pro if somebody says says not is this? If somebody says that something is madness. They mean that it's too dangerous or a stupid, foolish to be done. So the idea is listen and repeat. So they mean that it's too dangerous or a stupid, foolish to be done. Now listen and repeat. The rest of you will be tried and punished accordingly accordingly the rest of you will be tried and punished accordingly Try. what are you doing what are you doing zoo what are you doing zoo
this it's madness a stupidity what should have you done years ago so you need to say what i should have done years ago what i should have done years ago this is madness what i should have done years ago more literally li literally or literally change the for a literally madness refers to the state of being mentally ill crazy especially severely intensively so you listen and repeat okay the core that, that's good more literally madness refers to the state of being mentally ill crazy especially severely intensively brilliance is the quality of somebody or something that is brilliant okay good to be brilliant is to have great intelligence or a skill only a person who wanted to find this stone find it find it contraption making a contraption finding find it find it okay but now use it use it contraption making contraption would be able to get it to get it That is one of more brilliant ideas. Ideas, okay? Will means that their ideas of going under the water to steal the ship is either or either. A very stupid madness or B intelligent brilliance. This is either or either madness or brilliance. So the word either is used here as a way to refer to one choice between two possibilities or possibilities a or b okay good there's only one way to this ends car so you need to listen and repeat there is only one way this ends either you die or i do this is either badness or brilliance is remarkable how often does two traits coincident com com coincident something considered remarkable is unusual uncommon a special interest or excellent If you take this word literally, you can figure out more of its meanings. If means remarkable things make you want to make a remark, comment about them. They get 